the temperature controller. Check the water reservoir under the lap bench. The water level needs to be above the pump unit. Plug in the pump power cable into the outlet. Check the water reservoir to see if water is flowing as shown. Flip the power switch on the back left corner of the temperature control unit. The display will turn on. Holder is the current temperature and target is the desired temperature. Use the up arrow to increase the temperature and use the down arrow to decrease the temperature. To start temperature control, press the run stop button, turning on the computer and instrument. Press the power button in the center of the computer tower. The instrument power light should turn on. For the best performance, allow the instrument to warm up for at least one hour. Next, log into the instrument computer. The username and password are found in the instrument SOP. Wavelength scan measurement. On the desktop, double-click on the Carry Win UV folder icon. When the folder opens, double-click on the scan icon. Wait for the software to open and initialize. The instrument will be finished in initializing when the absorbance reading turns red. Click on Setup to set measurement parameters. Setup should open to the Carry tab. In the X mode section, set the scan range. Start is the higher wavelength. Stop is the lower wavelength. Beam mode should be set to dual beam. In scan controls, set the scan speed. Simple or advanced controls can be selected. If simple is selected, choose one of the speed modes. If advanced is selected, set the average time and data interval. Scan rate will automatically be calculated. In display options, set whether to display data individually or overlay. Click on the baseline tab. To automatically subtract the baseline, select Baseline Correction. Click on the Reports tab. In XY Pairs, check the Include XY Pairs table box to include a table of XY values in the report. Click on the Auto Store tab. Select when the software should prompt for the data to be saved. Click OK to set the setup parameters. Click on the zero button. When prompted, click on OK. In some cases, the instrument may need to be zeroed twice. Click on the baseline button. The software will prompt for the operator to insert the blank cuvette. Slide open the sample chamber lid, insert the blank cuvette, and close the lid. Be mindful that the beam path is right to left. Insert the cuvette so the clear sides are aligned with the beam direction. Click on OK to make the baseline measurement. Wait for the measurement to finish. Slide open the sample chamber lid. Replace the blank cuvette with the sample cuvette and close the lid. Click on the start button. If save at start was selected, then the software will prompt the operator to save as shown in the video. Find the appropriate folder. Name the file and click on save. The software will prompt for the sample name. Click OK to start the measurement. Wait for the measurement to finish. The spectrum will appear. The software will prompt for the next sample name. If measuring another sample, click on OK. If finished measuring samples, click on Finish. Kinetics Measurement In the Carry Win UV folder, double-click on the Kinetics icon. Wait for the software to open and initialize. The instrument will be finished initializing when the absorbance reading turns red. Click on Setup to set measurement parameters. Setup should open to the Carry tab. In the Instrument section, set desired wavelength, average time, and X mode time scale in minutes or seconds. In collect timing, select simple or advanced collect. Use simple if there's only one stage. Use advanced if there are multiple stages. In the cycle column, set the cycle duration. In the stop column, set the end time for the reaction stage. Click on the options tab. Set whether to display data individually or overlay. Click on the samples tab to set the desired number of samples. Click on the up arrow to increase the number of samples. Click on the down arrow to decrease the number of samples. Click on the Analyze tab. Check the Auto Calculate box so the software will automatically calculate at the end of the measurement. Select Simple or Advanced Calculate. Select Simple if there is only one stage. Select Advanced if there are multiple stages. Set the order to zero, first, or second. Set the required factor. Click on the Reports tab. In XY Pairs, check the Include XY Pairs table box to include a table of XY values in the report. 
click on the Auto Store tab. Select when the software should prompt for the data to be saved. Click OK to set the setup parameters. Click on the zero button. When prompted, click on OK. In some cases, the instrument may need to be zeroed twice. Insert the sample cuvette in the sample chamber as demonstrated in wavelength scan measurement. Click on the start button. If save at start was selected, then the software will prompt the operator to save as shown in the video. Find the appropriate folder, name the file, and click on save. The software will prompt for the sample name. Click OK. The countdown timer will appear. Add the reaction reagents to the cuvette in the sample chamber and click OK. Wait for the measurement to finish. The spectrum will appear. The software will prompt for the next sample name. If measuring another sample, click on OK. The report area will have the calculated data. Scanning Kinetics Measurement In the Carry Win UV folder, double click on the Scanning Kinetics icon. Wait for the software to open and initialize. The instrument will be finished initializing when the absorbance reading turns red. Click on Setup to set measurement parameters. Setup should open to the Carry tab. In the X mode section, set the scan range. Start is the higher wavelength, stop is the lower wavelength. In scan control, set the scan speed by setting the average time and data interval. Scan rate will automatically be calculated. In collect timing, select a simple or advanced collect. Use simple if there's only one stage. Use advanced if there are multiple stages. In the cycle column, set the cycle duration. In the stop column, set the end time of the reaction stage. Click on the baseline tab. To automatically subtract the baseline, select baseline correction. Click on the analyze tab. Check the auto calculate box so the software will automatically calculate at the end of the measurement. Select simple or advanced calculate. Select simple if there's only one stage. Select advanced if there are multiple stages. Set the order to zero first or second. Set the required factor. Click on the report tab in XY pairs. Check the include XY pairs table box to include a table of XY values in the report. Click on the auto store tab. Select when the software should prompt for the data to be collected. Click OK to set the setup parameters. Click on the zero button. When prompted, click on OK. In some cases, the instrument may need to be zeroed twice. Click on the baseline button. The software will prompt for the operator to insert the blank cuvette. Insert the blank cuvette in the sample chamber as demonstrated in wavelength scan measurement. Click on OK to make the baseline measurement. Wait for the measurement to finish. Insert the sample cuvette in the sample chamber as demonstrated in wavelength scan measurement. Click on the start button. If save at start was selected, then the software will prompt the operator to save as shown in the video. Find the appropriate folder, name the file, and click on save. The software will prompt for the sample name. Click OK. The countdown timer will appear. Add the reaction reagents to the cuvette in the sample chamber and click OK. Wait for the measurement to finish. The spectrum will appear. The software will prompt for the next sample name. If measuring another sample, click on OK. The report area will have the calculated data. Enzyme Kinetics Measurement In the Carry Win UV folder, double click on the Enzyme Kinetics icon. Wait for the software to open and initialize. The instrument will be finished initializing when the absorbance reading turns red. Click on Setup to set measurement parameters. Setup should open to the Carry tab. In the Instrument section, set the wavelength and average time. In Collect Timing, select Simple or Advanced Collect. Use Simple if there is only one stage. Use Advanced if there are multiple stages. In the Cycle column, set the cycle duration. In the Stop column, set the end time of the reaction stage. Click on the Options tab. Set whether to display data individually or overlay. Click on the Analyze tab. In the V0 calculation, set the parameters used for the calculation. In Analyze with, set your analysis method. In Model, set the type of enzyme reaction. In Plot Fit, select the desired type of plot. Check the Auto Calculate box so the software will automatically calculate. Click on the Samples tab to set the desired number of samples.
click on the up arrow to increase the number of samples. Click on the down arrow to decrease the number of samples. Then input the component concentrations for each sample. Click on the Reports tab. In XY Pairs, check the Include XY Pairs table box to include the table of XY values in the report. Click on the Auto Store tab. Select when the software should prompt for the data to be saved. Click OK to set the setup parameters. Click on the Zero button. When prompted, click on OK. In some cases, the instrument may need to be zeroed twice. Insert the sample cuvette in the sample chamber as demonstrated in Wavelength Scan Measurement. Click on the Start button. If Save at Start was selected, then the software will prompt the operator to save as shown in the video. Find the appropriate folder, name the file, and click on Save. The software will prompt for the sample name. Click OK. The countdown timer will appear. Add the reaction reagents to the cuvette in the sample chamber and click OK. Wait for the measurement to finish. The spectrum will appear. The software will prompt for the next sample name. If measuring another sample, click on OK. The report area will have the calculated data. Thermal melt measurements. In the carry win UV folder, double click on the C50 TM extended main icon. Wait for the software to open and initialize. The instrument will be finished initializing when the adsorbance reading turns red. Click on Setup to set measurement parameters. In Instrument Parameters, set the signal averaging time, data interval, and analysis wavelength. In Temperature Monitor and Control Type, select Controller and Regular QNW. In Temperature Selections, set Start Temperature, Stop Temperature, return temperature for end of run, equilibration time, and temperature ramp rate. In cell selection and sample ID entry, select single cell and name the sample. Click OK to set the setup parameters. Click on run. Equilibration time will start. Wait for the run to finish, the spectrum will appear. Click on store data. The software will prompt the operator to save as shown in the video. Find the appropriate folder, name the file, and click on Save. Open Reports. If the Reports window is not open, go to View and then click on Reports. Double-click in the Reports window to expand it to full view. Double-click in the Reports window again to collapse it. Using Trace Preferences. Click on Trace Preferences button above the spectrum. Check or uncheck the desired spectrum then click OK. Saving a report as a PDF. Click on the Print button. Select Cute PDF Writer as the printer and click on OK. Then save the PDF file in the desired folder. Shutting down the computer and instrument. Close the software and carry Win UV folder. Then shut down the computer. It is important the computer be shut down because the instrument is powered through the computer. The instrument power light should turn off turning off the temperature control unit. Flip the power switch on the back left corner of the temperature control unit. Unplug the pump power cable from the outlet. The instrument SOP should be located next to the instrument. If assistance is needed, please look in the instrument SOP for the contact information of the scientific instrument specialist.